I'm Darren McMaster. I'm a senior engineer at DMM. These are the new Dragonfly cams. They're a range of small cams to protect small cracks. Six different sizes here. The color sizing coding fits in with the Dragon cams. So we go from purple, which overlaps with the Dragon Cam 1, all the way down to green, which um, the smallest minimum range it goes to is 7.4 millimeters. So I'll start at this end. You've got a, a thumb loop here, which you can clip direct into, which is obviously great for aiding. From that, there's an extendable 11 millimeter sling. So we've actually made a really nice compact bar tack at this end, which means you can just extend it pulling either side. It might catch occasionally, but most of the time it will just pull straight through, which is really neat when you're in that gripped position and you're just wanting to pull something. You can know that you can pull either end and it will go through. We've got a really nice ergonomic uh, thumb press here, combined with a, an ergonomic trigger, nice metal durable trigger. And we've actually made a, a centralized swage here. So when you pull the cam load, because the swage is in the center, it's not wanting to tend to try and buckle to one side. It's a really nice straight, even pull. So it just feels really good to, to pick up in place. In the middle, we've got a really nice, flexible um, stem cable. So that's great for if you those awkward placements where it's sort of a bit out of the way and trying to go around an edge, or if you can't direct, put it in the right direction at your, for the proper placement, you know, you've only got that one specific place where it will jam in, like it's all pointing out a bit. It will, it will allow, give you a bit more of a um, leeway there to place it and move around. We've got a nice narrow, what I call the trigger bar here, the, the other end of the trigger. So that's really narrow. So even on, even on the green, the smallest size, when you're placing it fully cammed, you can still place it all the way in full depth. This isn't going to interfere, so you can place it in and orientate it at any angle. The cams have got an angle of 13.75 degrees. That's uh, the angle that we've got on the Dragon cams. Um, and that's the angle we found to have the, the best combination of um, range and holding power. The cams themselves are made out of a softer aluminium alloy, which means that they're more likely to grip onto the rock and sort of deform and grab into the rock. So it gives you more chance for that placement to actually hold. We've also kept it really narrow head width as well here. That allows it to fit in those awkward thin scars or pockets or small short cracks. And what I've actually done here on the, on the smaller sizes is overhung the, the lobes over the, the spindle heads and the nuts, which means that of that head width, you've got 100% of um, width is devoted to the camming surface there which is great, it just, um, just gives that more contact area so you've got more chance of it sticking in the rock there. And the last thing obviously is the, the triple grip camming surface as well, which again helps to create a really nice solid placement. So that combined with the, the really flexible stem means that when this is placed, it's going to have, it's really not going to want to walk, it's just going to stay where you put it. And so in terms of weights, we're going from 51 grams here for the green, the smallest size, up to 69 grams on the purple. These are due for delivery in spring 2019 and they'll have an RRP of £64 or $75, that's US dollars. This softer alloy, it's, um, it's similar to some other um, micro cams on the market, they've used a similar alloy anyway. So we, from that respect, we know that it's durable enough um, and the choice is um, harder and longer lasting or softer, better grip. Um, but it just gives you that much more chance of grip and bite during those um, placements. This here is, uh, is Dynatech, so this is a really abrasion resistant material. This will last a long time against being rubbed against the rock on the rock face, but it's still super flexible, it's a textile material, so it doesn't inhibit any of the flexibility that we've managed to put into this, into this stem here. They're actually slightly underneath the Dragon Cam, so you've got the Dragon Cam range here, the dragonflies will sit sort of here, so they overlap but slightly smaller. So you can actually pick these three up and they'll complement the, the dragon cams perfectly as a, as a second set of cams. So I've tried to, to keep the spacing of the range slightly broader on these three sizes, but then really overlap it and concentrate it on these sizes, which are really the smaller sizes, so they themselves have less range anyway. So it means that you've got more chance of finding that right placement where they where the cam's perfectly in and you're not having to jam it in with fear of getting it stuck or having it really tipped out. If you've got a thumb loop um, and a thin connection point, or when it gets loaded, it's gonna, the, the arc on that is one to go, want to go to straight line, straighten out, which is what gives you your kink. Um, but because these are 
uh, comparatively like fairly lowly rated compared to the Dragon Cams. If you're taking a full and that big enough to, to start kinking it, you're already going to be damaging the rest of the cam um, anyway. The big driver was where are these cams going to be used? So obviously in the UK we've got lots of, we do lots of free climbing and uh, lots of hard climbing like there's a, there's a picture of um, James McAfee on our, on our Facebook feed doing uh, an E9. Um, so he's, he's, he's placed uh, the small cams on that which is just dead thin so you could only fit the smallest ones in. Um, um, I haven't been to the States myself but I've heard there's lots of aid climbing there which um, small cams are great for as well. So that was the big, the big push there was um, to, to make these acceptable for, for aid climbers and having that shorter connection point is, um, is a, great, a great boom to that, isn't it? So really good to be able to clip in high rather than clipping a little bit further down. Um, so we, we do say that you, could, you can tie a knot in the Dragon Cams to do that, um, but we thought that the, these would be more, these are a bit slightly more specialist in the Dragon Cams, not quite as, um, as sort of a generalized cam, so we thought it would be worth focusing more on on what they're actually going to be used for, so that's why we decided to play over fun brass. Two and a bit years for me working on this one. There's lots of, yeah, lots of um, lots of fine details to work out and to really to really finish the cams off. So it's all the they say the devil's in the detail. It's like it really was them um, just trying to nail all those little tiny little things to finish the products.